Hi, I just got back from a conference, um, and I don't know the speaker's name, but I'll find out. She actually had to leave early, and I didn't see a flyer. I just showed up. It was in my neighborhood, and she talked about losing her sister to suicide, um, and how for the for this last five years of her sister's life were the best five years of her life, but for some reason she took her life actually on her mother's birthday. And so she has now made it her mission to go and talk to people about not having su or not having these urges to commit suicide and how to overcome them. And she said there's three types of people. One who suffers from suicide, um, suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety. One who has a family member that does or a friend or someone that they know. And a third who already has lost a person to suicide. And she goes, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you fit into one of these three categories. And she said, it's just, it's huge, um, which I, it is true. That's very true. I think that there are those three types of people. Unfortunately, um, I have family members that suffer and I don't know how to help them sometimes. And so when I was sitting in this conference, it occurred to me as she was talking about it, how if you think of um, the woman who touched a thread of Christ's clothing as he was going through the crowd and he stopped immediately and he said, who touched me? And because he felt um, something leave his body. And so he goes, woman, thy faith have made thee whole. Well, this is a woman that lived with a blood condition. And that blood condition, um, she had been suffered her whole life. And she tried different things and tried different things and nothing happened. And so finally, because of this miracle, she was healed. And so we all have issues in our life. We all have things that we're dealing with, uh, whether it be from depression, anxiety, whether it be I'm too fat or whether it be um, I need a job or I'm not happy in my job or I live paycheck to pay paycheck. It doesn't matter. We all are dealing with something. And she said, we all just need to take off that facade and we need to just love each other for who we are. And this is where you are enough. You are so enough. So these plates, we had a luncheon afterwards and these plates were there and I actually won one of them. The sticker was under my chair. <laughs> so it was meant to be. Um, but that is my message for you today, that you are enough. Um, if you are struggling with something, just get up and just keep going. Uh, just try one more step. She talks about you have your Oreo and the Oreo, the feeling is in the middle. And that is Satan telling you you're not good enough or he knows us. And so she talked about getting up in the morning, every single morning, just get up and say, Satan, I know your plan and I'm going to beat you. And to me, that's true. Acknowledge, acknowledge the adversity. If you're not a believer in God, it doesn't matter. Believe that there is good and bad and all things. There's opposition. And we need to acknowledge that and acknowledge that we can overcome. If something is so incredibly dark and dreary right now, you need to believe that tomorrow it won't be. And you need to try to let the light in. One positive thought. Just say one positive thought to yourself and remember that. Um, so that's what I learned. So getting back to the Oreo and the stuffing, or the Oreo, you have two sides. These are your truths. The stuffing is the lie. And so you know those thin Oreos versus the thick Oreos? Um, of course we like the thick. It's better because the middle is always the best part. I don't especially like the black Oreo cookie part. Vanilla is good. But um, the truths, those are truths. They never change. Those sizes never change. It's the truth. But what's in the middle that can change. And so are you going to let your allow a lot of lies in about yourself or are you going to keep them small? Because they're always going to be there. So just believe that you can overcome that one bite at a time. And so um, that is my deep thought for the day. I just hope that you know that you're good enough and you know that there are people around you that love you. And she talked about how her sister thought that she'd be so much, everyone would be better off without her. I want you to know that nobody is better off without you. Not a single person. If you take your life, if you're considering taking your life, don't because people miss you and it is not better for anybody. Nobody. You might be struggling right now, but give yourself some time. You might be struggling for the rest of your life, but that might be your cross to bear and you can overcome it because there's people there that love you and appreciate you. So reach out. That is my thought. You are enough. You are so good enough. See ya.